Why, hello and good morning, or evening, afternoon, good night, I don't know. Depends when you're watching. Hopefully not uh, during class. You should be teaching. I'm kidding. Hey, this is Tyler with Tarver Academy. Let's get right into it. Today we're talking about providing feedback with comments and suggested edits in docs. Okay, so I'm in my doc, and uh, the first thing is, uh, let's say I want to do a comment. Um, so what you would do is, you're, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, but one of the great things about Google is whatever the top two or three ways people might want to do something, they're going to make that an option. And so I'm going to, uh, let's say I want to say, um, so let's say childhood, we want to suggest a comment about the title. You can select anything on there. Now look to the right, like right over here. See this little guy, add a comment. It's not there when I move away, but watch this, double click. Boom, it pops up. I can leave a comment right there. Um, greatest, should it be best, comment. So now that has become a comment. I can do, um, see this one right here. Um, is this misspelled or sh it, not should, um, or is it a reference to SNL comment okay so I'm leaving my comments in there um, now you can also notify people let's say I need to tell somebody so like pogs say I need to tell somebody about it when I go in to make that comment all I would do is the same way you would tag someone on Instagram or Twitter you could use the at symbol it's gonna pull up your contacts so I can pick my contacts I'll say um, I'll email contact myself and I would say um, did you even use pogs as a kid and then I can assign it that means that it's going to email them and notify them so they'll they'll be assigned to this it's it's a uh, just a better way to notify them. so I'm gonna click assign now you can see that it's assigned to my other account right there and then I would click that check mark when it's resolved okay um, other ways to do that is you can click here and uh, or I can not click see how I'm not clicked I can just go over to the right and I can add a comment it's gonna go it's automatically gonna select whatever I was um, next to so if I was right here and I just hover over it click comment it's gonna select all of it okay so now let's move on to suggesting right now I can make edits like I could delete instead of uh, ingenious I could say super duper so I can make edits right now but if I didn't want to see up here in the upper right says editing I can change that to suggesting let's say that this is not really my doc and I don't want to just go in and make all the changes what if I want to say hey these are my recommendations to your research paper that you're writing so I click suggesting now I would go in and change it just like I would but it's gonna look different on their side so instead of game let's say I want to say um, activity it's going to show that I'm recommending we mark out game and add activity. And then I could go into similar to the show Prison Break. Let's say I wanted to say it was more like, um, I don't know, what's a show that I can say out loud? Um, let's just say Breaking Bad. So I'm making all these changes. If you'll notice, it pops up on the right. They look similar to the comments, but one of the considerable differences is that it's, it's showing me right here what is the change they're saying so I can see the change over here in green and then over here to the right it just says you know replace game with activity and I can say check means yes and it's automatically gonna make the change then I go down here to this one it says replace prison break with breaking bad I could reply to that or I could just X and say no and then it goes back to what it was this is an incredible incredible thing you could do when you're um, reviewing papers like uh, if you're looking at a rough draft you can go in and make suggestions so they can go in and check or X inside if they want to make it um, we used to do this for our building plans we would take our plan for the whole building and give suggesting access to everybody in there and then they could go and make suggestions and all you had to do was go in and click check or X if you wanted to do it great way for uh, um, handbooks as well so you can have teachers and students and parents, everybody, go in and make suggestions. You can just read it and check it or exit. So you're good to go. There you go. You have now learned that. I hope you have a great day. Um, do you want me to come train your school? I'll let you boy.
Okay. Later. Bye. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. What, you want me to come training from Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.